Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 5 most common Magic the Gathering cheats. We will begin with number 5, using cards that your opponent does not know what they say. Now this cheat always happens in EDH, I don't know if it's intentional, if the player with the foreign cards is intentionally misrepresenting what they did, but I remember when we first played Magic and there was this kid at the lunch uh, room table in middle school and he had these different cards we didn't know what they did because honestly no one at that time knew what magic cards did because it was not like the internet as it is today and there wasn't smartphones we did have cell phones but for the most part they couldn't go online and even if you could go online you wouldn't find that much information so essentially this kid played foreign cards and then he misrepresented what they did I never figured out if he didn't know what they did or if we all just, if he knew and he intentionally said it did something a lot, a lot stronger. Um, now, today we're going to find this out in EDH. EDH is extremely casual. Therefore, people are not going to check your card all the time. They're going to take your word for it. And even a modern and standard at FNM, I've seen times where people just, okay, cool, that's what the card does. Uh, in particular, at Groovy Geckos in Virginia, when Geist came out, this guy had a French version of Geist, and he misrepresented that the angel did not leave at the end of the battlefield, so that card was OP. That card was amazing. So next, playing two lands a turn. Obviously extremely beneficial when you can ramp up. This is a common mistake that we see in pros, either intentionally or unintentionally. Uh, I, I always play land at the end of my turn, so I know when it is. Like, Unless I need to land um, to play a card, which generally isn't always true, I always play it at the end, towards the end, when I'm trying to do something, my second main phase. So... Playing double lands is very tricky, and it is something that the greatest cheat of all time, Alex Bercini, is known for. You can either play off a card or just play it um, from your hand. So the next cheat is Intimidation. Intimidation takes many forms. It could be calling a judge a new player. It essentially is... If you figure out a player is very weak or you think that they are going to tilt easily, then you intimidate them. And you either call a judge or you play really fast and you're like, hey, hey. a lot of people pretty much just act like douchebags. I, I can't emphasize that enough. Um, they're not playing Magic the Gathering because they enjoy your company or your time. They're playing so they can beat you. And intimidation is something that uh, they do, especially with younger Magic players or less experienced Magic players. They try to make you play fast. They try to make you make mistakes. And then they honestly just make you feel bad and somewhat tilt you. So making you play fast is one way, but stalling is another. And stalling happens all the time at my locals where it typically happens with control decks. And it typically happens in pre-release where the guy reads his card like seven times. And I'm like, hey, dude, like, what's going on? You've read your card seven times. Like, are you going to attack? Are you going to play the card? And essentially, if the opponent realizes there's no way to win, they can stall and they can tie. And at something like a pre-release or a FNM or more casual event, they can just take a lot of time because at the pre-release they can say oh i haven't read the cards let me read the card again and again and again not the best experience and definitely leaves a bad taste in in your mouth if you're the one being stalled and lastly but most importantly drawing extra cards this one i see all the time all the time the older the format the more i see it brainstorm ponder all this stuff um, they draw cards and then they don't replace the they don't put back the correct amount of cards. So obviously drawing cards is very important to the game. And sometimes someone will draw eight cards for a starting hand and then hide one of them. I've seen that technique before. Sometimes they will draw two cards a turn and then hide the 
one. So you have to be very, very careful because drawing cards is highly advantageous and quite easy to do. There's always the potential at the draw phase for that for your opponent to draw one extra card without you noticing. And we see this a lot, um, not just with the cards, but at the with the card phases where you know they could distract you, you're you're distracted, and they just go ahead and draw an extra card in a subtle movement. So anyway, those were my top five. Do you guys have any? Leave me a comment below. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.